Okay guys, so I was really dumb and didn't vlog it and I so should have, but I was kind of just like in a little bit of a shock mode. I was watching Netflix upstairs and I came downstairs to eat breakfast. And I come over here and I look out in my backyard and there's a little husky puppy. A but it's small and like running around and like looking everywhere and i'm like what the heck how did a puppy get in the backyard and so i open the door and jack goes up to the screen and kind of smells and they kind of smell each other and then i open the door and it scares jack and he walks away and then um i go out there and i'm like where the heck did this puppy come from and then my neighbor you know is like oh my god i'm so sorry like he got through the gate and all of this and everything like that and he was so nice and courteous and everything he was such a nice guy um, about it, and he felt so bad that this little puppy had gotten through. But you can see why he got through. He was really tiny. I have a picture. I'm going to show you on camera, and then I'm also going to insert it because it's not a great picture. And to be honest, I took it so fast, and he was moving so much that it kind of looks like a cat a little bit. But if I tell you it's a dog, you know, you'll maybe you'll look at it more like a dog. I'll show you. That's the the puppy he's really cute he was in our backyard so like by the time i had even thought of like going into the backyard and like getting him you know i had like been like oh i should take a picture he's really cute and like nobody's gonna believe me that he's in the backyard so i took a picture and it was a half picture but then he was also trying to go on the other side down the gate and i didn't want him to get out the other side because there's a busy road right there so I was kind of like, oh, okay, I should probably go get him and, like, bring him in the house and then figure out where he, you know, was from. Or keep him close to me in the backyard. You know, I'll vlog it when I have him in one area. But the neighbor came in, got him, luckily. Uh, so at least I know who he was. But he was so cute and so little and so adorable and, oh my gosh. So hopefully sometime in the future I can get, like, you know, I can be like, oh, so if if he ever got in the backyard again um i would definitely vlog it like again but i don't know i was just kind of thinking about the puppy's safety you know first off but he's a little tiny husky and he's really blue eyes and he's so cute but anyways that's how i started my morning off i um, luckily i'm a, like a, a dog person and i love dogs and i think they're really cute and he was like the sweetest little dog he was like smelling everything and smelling my hands and he wanted to smell jack so it all worked out for the best but um anyways that was my morning um i'll put up a picture like i'll look online and find a picture of what he looks like and show you guys it won't be actually him but i'll show you guys what he kind of looks like and the funny thing is is this morning when i was leaving in bed i heard somebody outside like going i don't know what name it was but he was like calling a dog and i was like where is that coming from and like i thought it was my neighbors all the way over but apparently it was him, so now that makes sense. He was, like, calling the dog because the dog was under the gate. And he said he knocked, but I guess I didn't hear it. And so, anyways, long story short, a little cute husky puppy got uh, in my backyard. And it was adorable and really, really cute. And at first I did think it was a cat. And I thought he was trying to get his cat back. And I was like, well, cats come to my backyard all the time, but I've never had a puppy in my backyard. Um, but anyways, yeah, that was my... Funny story for in the morning, and we're going to start the vlog. Good, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today is Wednesday the 19th. It is day 12, 11, and today is National Puppy in the Backyard Day. Uh-oh. Five injured in Northwest Portland gas explosion. <sighs> Poor people. That just so sad. It's sad that on our news, almost everything is like depressing. So. Okay, so step one of doing these is to boil them. 
You boil them and then you're going to let them, once it boils, you're going to let them simmer on medium for about, I would say three minutes. Other people will say different. But this way, it kind of cleans them off, you know, and then also they can, you know, be in the flavoring that you did for them, which, um, I did salt and also ground sage, um, on it. So, you can do that. Okay, so now it's boiling. I'm going to take it out the heat for a second. And then it's going to go down to medium. And I put them in sage and salt in water overnight in the fridge to really season them into that flavor. And now I'm going to boil them. So, that's what I'm going to do. And then after we boil them, we're going to actually prepare them by putting them onto a sheet and actually baking them and making them, you know, pumpkin seeds, um, baked pumpkin seeds. So that's what we're going to do next. Okay, now you are going to add a little bit of um, olive oil right there to the bottom, put them on, then put salt, and then um, bake them. And it doesn't actually take... Uh, a really long time but I would really watch them because they can burn very fast with like olive oil being under them um, and then I would say halfway through try to flip them so that both sides get really well done okay so I do mine at 350 and I cook them for about 10 minutes but I do like five minutes one side and then I flip them and do another side and then if they're not quite done I double check and make sure and then add a little extra if they're not quite done um, but we're gonna pop these into the oven. This is the before. Um, and then I will show you guys the after. The oven is almost ready. Okay, now they're all flipped over and we're gonna put them back in and, uh, cook them a little more. Alright, and they're done. Now I'm gonna let them sit for about five minutes and then I'm gonna put them in a little bit of plastic wrap. Um, Put some plastic wrap and then put a little rubber band on the top and then I'm going to tie it with a little Halloween bow or just an orange bow, I'm not sure yet. And then it's great for gifts. So that's basically the process. It's really, really easy. It's not really actually that complicated to do a whole cooking with Simi. So anyways, looks good. Alright guys, so I decided to make some chocolate chip cookies. I'm going to make a couple chocolate chip cookies, like a two dozen for my house to have and then make a dozen to take down to Eugene so I'm making like five dozen cookies I think yeah it's five dozen cookies so I'm making chocolate chip cookies um this is a really simple family recipe and guess whose family it is Nestle Toll House or Nestle Toll House what movie is that from or show. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm making a si really simple recipe and I'm going to add my chocolate chips and I didn't vlog any of the beginning process because I forgot. Sorry. Alright, let's mix this. First set of cookies are in the oven, and I just wanted to show you guys the finished product of my pumpkin seeds. So these are salted, um, I can't think of the other word, salted, uh, ground saged pumpkin seeds. And I got this recipe online, if you guys are interested, I can put it in the link below. But I decorated it with a little Halloween thing, and it's going to be a little Halloween gift for somebody. So you guys can see um, more pictures of this and also um, the recipe in the comments. If you want it, um, tell me and I will send it to you. It's really not that hard. You just kind of follow the steps that I said in the vlog. But if you want the full recipe, I will definitely give it to you. And then you can just add, this is from the dollar store and it's just too not and easy. So anyways, I'm going to be posting a picture of this on my Instagram. And a picture of my delicious cookies. Alright guys, got some cookies going. These are cookies from my family. I have the cookies ready for the trip. Um, in this little bag. I don't know how long I'm going to carry it. 
I'm gonna have to figure out something, but those are ready. Pumpkin seeds. Check. Got a little bit of dough left, and we have some of the cookies baking. Whoa! I fell. There they are. Looking great. <laughs> Anyways, it's all going good. I was gonna actually save a couple other cookies for maybe a couple other people, but we'll see. Cookie bacon always makes me just feel really calm and serene, and it's really nice. Are you enjoying your cuddles over here, Miss Girl? Yeah.